Beach Wildlife Sanctuary always has something fun happening, and Chad is there this morning. Yeah, hey, good morning, guys. We now made our way outside on the patio here of the uh, Nature Center, joined with Jody once again, and we added a, a new little friend here who is now much quieter compared to what she was yeah. just a few minutes ago. Let's talk about uh, this little bat that we have here. Okay, well, this is her name is Bianca, and Bianca is angry, <laughs> <laughs> but she is a big brown bat. Um, which are native to Wisconsin and native to this area. And she is going to be featured in an upcoming program that we have um, on July 16th. It's a Tuesday evening. So we are going to head outside. We'll get to meet and greet Bianca here and um, one of our other bats. And we'll learn all about bats in Wisconsin and, um, and just what, what they're dealing with and what they do and why they're good animals to have around. And then we're going to go on a little walk. Um, to look for bats on the sanctuary property. I think that's a good thing for people to know. Mm -hmm. We think of bats, a lot mm -hmm. of people are scared of them, but they play a huge role in just this huge cycle of mm -hmm. everything nature. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So bats are, I mean, they're insectivores, so they, they eat primarily flying insects. And so um, these are the guys that tackle the mosquitoes that are out there. So if you don't like mosquito bites, you should love bats. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's talk about some of the programs you guys have coming up. Obviously, it's a very busy summer. You guys have something going on every pretty much day. each day of the week. Correct. So um, every day there is a free um, animal program this summer. So today we already talked about we have um, otters at 11 and mammals at 3. And then on Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, we have our wolf feeding and wolf talks going on every, throughout the summer. Um, on Thursdays, we have birds of prey. We have water birds. We have all kinds of stuff going on. So every day there's something happening. Sure. And families, kids can obviously come back Absolutely. down. What if people have like maybe a larger group? Do they get in touch with you guys to uh, um, make the way can, over here too? Yep. Um, we do. I mean, you can get in touch with us and we do formal programming. Um, otherwise, if you have a big group of people and you come on out here, um, yeah, just come on out and enjoy. Um, there's a little tricky with parking right now and with the construction project we have going on, so people need to be aware that, yes, we're still open and it's just a little awkward to get around, but please come on out and, and enjoy our our park as yeah, any, anyway. <laughs> yeah, real quick, just talk about it. We, uh, it's right behind us, yeah. but a brand new building. What's yeah. this going to house? Um, well, it's primarily going to house our Oak um, Learning Center, which is a four-year-old kindergarten, and it's also going to be a conference center. Um, so yeah, we're, we're really excited to see this go up and have, have a new space to, to do more stuff in. It'll be great when it's done. <laughs> All right, fantastic, Jody. Yeah. Thank you so much. Guys, a lot of great stuff going on. Uh, this little guy not happy once again that we're uh, ending yeah, the segment, but yeah. again, some great weather expected here through the weekend. Come on out, feed the ducks, uh, check out some pretty cool animals. And again, if you can't make it out this weekend, they have a whole ton of programs uh, lined up for the rest of the summer. Okay, Chad, thank you.